Here's a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because there was a black guy walking behind him. And he was, he was nervous. He was new to the city, this chicken. And he was like, I feel like he's following me, but I'm not sure. So then he thought, maybe if I cross the road, then if he crossed the road, he's definitely following me. So he crossed the road, and the black guy went home. He's living his life. And the chicken was like, I'm such a racist. And he felt, he felt bad. About a month later, a black guy ate the chicken. A uh, different black guy. I'm just telling you what happened. By the way, don't be upset, because this is not a racist joke. This joke is not racist. The chicken was racist. The chicken was definitely racist. But that's chickens. Chickens are very closed down and suspicious and prejudiced. You kind of can't blame them considering that their species murder rate is 100%. That's why chickens are like... There's always excuses for racism, you know? Like, I met this guy from the South and he was really racist, and I asked his friend, why is he like that? And his friend goes, oh, well, he was born on a farm. What kind of farm was that, you know? <laughs> Maybe the animals were racist, uh -huh. you know? Just walking around the animals, are like, Jews! Black! 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 Jews! So I have mild racism. It's benign, it's not aggressive. It's not even negative racism, it's mild racism. I'll give you an example, okay? Like, see, like if I go uh, to a, a pizza place I've never been to before, and it's run by four black women, I'll go like, uh, hmm. <laughs> see, it's very mild. It's extremely mild racism. I'll notice that. Yeah. You don't usually see that, four black women running a pizza place. <laughs> unless, unless it's called Four Black Girls Pizza or something like that, like that's the whole point of the place. Wow, hey, here's some interesting news about the Jew oh. thing. Hey, I, I do yes. know where the, where the term kite came from, by the way. Ah, oh, derogatory term it's for the, Jewish yes, people? Yes, I, I, I do know where that came from. Where? It is when, they, when people used to come uh, over on the, uh, you know, in the ships that, on Ellis Island, mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of people couldn't write English, so they used to make their mark, and the Jews' mark was a circle, and uh, the circle is called keikel. So that's what they were just shorting it to kike. The oh, guys oh, coming yeah? in and say, here's another kike once they've seen the, the, the circle. You know stamp. where Nigger came from <laughs> originally? <laughs> there was some black guy being a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> so they called him a nigger. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> And that's where it started. It just was a, it was a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another example of mild racism. If I say I'm in a hospital and the doctor comes in to treat me and the doctor's from China or India, I'll think, well, good, good. Good, more of that. Why not? It's very mild racism. Here's another example. If I'm in a gas station late at night, and uh, a, young, a young man comes in wearing a hooded sweatshirt. If he's white, I'll think, oh, he's an athlete. If he's black, unless he has a big smile on his face, then I become mildly racist, and this is what I think. I think, that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. No, of course I'm fine. Why did I even think that for a second? <laughs> But people are too afraid of Harlem, you know? Like everybody, when you move to New York, they, they say, oh, do you, oh you, you can't go to Harlem, because as soon as you get there, they kill you. <laughs> like, it's just the way, as soon as you arrive, they stab you in the face. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just get murdered, which is stupid. I've been to Harlem, and people there, they have a lot of stuff to do. You know, they're busy. They're not just standing around waiting for lost white people to kill all day. <laughs> I do this. There's right outside a subway entrance, going, come on, come on! I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right. Right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. Don't, don't tell the band that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. you can't. You can't. That's right. 
you can't take people's like historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like white people are always like, come on. It wasn't us. Like they want black people to forget everything. Like every year, white people add a hundred years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. Yeah. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70 year old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently. <laughs> You could buy a guy. That's it. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. <laughs> like it just. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh yeah, it just ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe. Just boom, and then it's just been parades and presents ever yeah, since. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair. They remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we, yeah. stuff that we went sure, through sure. That, that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away. That was really <laughs> hard for us. And we're still, so it's pretty even. <laughs> so, it's, so it's even. Yeah. It's even. Come closer. I want you a lady. I know you're gonna never love me. Oh, your touch. Um, seriously, because I did a show where they don't applaud when you go on stage. It's called uh, Mo Better Mondays. At, um, that's the name of the show at the Improv, Mo Better Mondays. It's an all black audience. And I had done a show called Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory, which is an all black audience. And they invited me because they thought I was black because of my name, because I directed Pootie Tang, so people sometimes think I'm black. And so they invited me to that, to the show. So I get there, and uh, they go, oh, hi. <laughs> and I look at her and I go, oh, hi. And then we kind of stand there, turn up the side, and I go, fuck it, hi. And they go, yeah, hi, all right. <laughs> So I went on, and this is Chocolate Sunday, said the Laugh Factory, and it was fucking great. I had a great time because nobody else is trying. They're all up there just acting cool, and I went up there and I tried, and everybody appreciated it. So then, because um, most comedians don't try. I'm not saying because they're there or black, but they were all black and unfunny. Every single one of them was black. There are far more unfunny white comedians than, un than unfunny black ones. But every single comedian on that show was black and unfunny. Should have been the name of the show. Really. <laughs> but I was white and hilarious. And also, you know, privileged and uh, lucky to be white. Awesome. It is a very... It, everybody who's white should just wake up and go, I'm fucking white! This is great! This is great! How easy is this shit? I don't have to fucking explain myself ever. I look people in the eye with confidence, nobody fucks with me. The police protect me. It's amazing that black people, all they can hope for from the cops is that they'll leave them alone. And we actually get to hope that they'll protect us. It's fucking a chasm of difference. On the, and I'm on the greatest side of that chasm. I'm on the fucking sweet side of that chasm.